Right, good morning YouTubers. Morphia off Morphy Rides again. And today we're actually riding again. However, I ain't going on the main roads. Absolutely full of salt and shit and fault salt and grit and crap. Not a good So this little, well, it's a decent lane. It's just the end of my avenue. Lovely little area. Very quiet lane, uh, most times just morning. Just dog walkers, few horses. That's the car park there and the woodland and just down here is uh, across the river is Gawthorpe and it's uh, also where uh, Burnley Football Club train I'll see if I can get a shot of that but yeah it's just a nice uh, ramble down this lane no salt no grit sun's out feels like a spring day, it's very cold, um, very frosty this morning in this area. The woodland to the right is predominantly beach, if you can see it, a lot of sycamore, but mainly beach. This whole area, just after the wall, is all open cast, that's part of the uh, open cast pit workings, the stonework. Warning sign for horses. I've had a lot of work done down here uh, at Burnley Football Club, uh, passing place, notices here, there and everywhere. A lot of big wagons came down here and we've had the road uh, resurfaced up to a point just beyond, beyond here. Uh, and that was uh, due to all this sand and soil and building work that went on. They built a big massive training area down there. You can't pick it out because of the trees, but maybe a better shot on the way back. It's not going to be a massive uh, vlog in this, it's going to be long enough like, right? because I've been dying to put some of it on, but the weather is just atrocious at the moment, just holding me back. Maybe the wrong time to start vlogging really, you know, start a channel because uh, just not getting out at all. It's a narrow lane, very narrow lane. Packed and teeming with wildlife. I come down here some days, you won't believe stuff I've seen. I've seen one St. River, uh, a mink, uh, fighting with an eel. And the eel, would, uh, went, <laughs> to be fair to the eel, it was holding its own. Uh, obviously it lost the battle in the end, but it was no... Um, no pushover, even for a mink. I, I couldn't believe what I was watching, you know. I seen this splashing in water and th then it uh, all unfolded, I had my binos with me. But down this area, uh, a lot of airs uh, during, obviously, around this, just after, uh, around February, March. There'll be a lot of airs down here. I've seen fox, badger, stoat, weasel. Um, buzzard, oyster catchers, uh, what else? I've seen, there's been all sorts, you know, when I've been down here. Raw deer, they're uh, quite in abundance around this area. This lane on itself is actually a uh, private road, it says, not all the way down, but part of the way down becomes a private road. But uh, the Mrs Sprocket, she's friendly with the one that the lady who owns um, Pendle Hall. And that's right at the end of this road. So I won't have a bother anyway, because end of the day, if anybody, not that they would ask. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to Pendle Hall. 
the river there is the River Calder. And the area where we're going to down here is known as the Stepping Stones. I'll see if I can find a picture on the uh, internet and slip it in part of this uh, filming. Um, with a picture of the Stepping Stones. I'm not uh, going a great deal of speed because of uh, dog walkers and what might pop out down here. Used to come down here in the mornings at uh, half four, five o'clock on my push bike when I was doing a bit of training before I uh, got this damn thing I've got at the moment, which I can't get shut of. Sciatica, if anybody's ever had it, good God, it's taking some time. I've had it in August. But yeah, um, lovely area. We used to live on the main road when kids were little, and two lads. Had terrible asthma. You know that the road, the main road, was really, really busy. Anybody who knows it's uh, Rosendale Road in Burnley, and then trucks and wagons continually came up and down that road all day long. Buses, cars constantly. It was 24 hours, seven days a week, and as I say, the uh, the lads had uh, terrible asthma. That bridge there is where these, what's uh, where the um, name, where the stepping stones were. If I can get a picture up, I'll, I'll stick it on uh, to, to accompany this uh, short video. Obviously, this guy's coming this way, runner. Up that, up through that uh, junction there is Pendle Hall. Incidentally, that's another thing. As you, as you don't know if you can see, well you can see, the two uh, large amounts of water puddling there. Uh, I once came down and we pushed back and I went, went over that central piece constantly, at speed, and I mean at speed, I was flying down here in uh, early mornings. And uh, one, day, one day I came down, I veered just to the left, oh my god, straight over the handlebar. In fact, I think I've got a picture somewhere in my face. If I can find that picture in my face, I'll stick it up. <laughs> uh, came right over the handlebars, knocked myself out for a couple of minutes, I was out cold. Pitch black in the morning, in fact, uh, I must have been a bit delusional when I, got, when I came to. Because I jumped on the bike and started to carry on pedalling. Uh, but... I'd smashed all my brakes and one thing and another, so uh, when I finally came to my senses, <laughs> I turned around and pushed the bike home. Now Sprocket, although she's a lovely lass, she hates me hurting myself. In fact, she goes absolutely mad because it's stuff I've got up to, you know, over my dear life when I come off my bikes and smash myself up here, there and everywhere. Um, I once smashed my face in really bad. Oh, you should have seen that. I ain't got a picture of that, that word a mess. Um, but yes, yeah, Sprocket goes mad. And uh, I got back to bed that morning and I never said no to Sprocket, I just got in inside of her. <laughs> and uh, she was talking to me and uh, she, she, I think she put light on the summit side of her bed and um, I turned around to talk to her. <laughs> She <laughs> let out an enormous scream <laughs> when she saw me. You know, th this went when I smashed my face in. This was when, this was when I uh, came off my bike down there. Yeah, I can't remember what I was talking. This is what happens to me. I, I'm sorry, but I just start. Thank you. I just start uh, going off track and waffling. I'm, I'm murdered for that. If I don't finish any of my stories at some time, I will. Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, lads had a uh, terrible asthma, and uh, couldn't get shut of it, and one of the lads had eczema, um, had to put, it was that bad, he had to put this here steroid cream on, but he had to use this steroid cream all the time, because it made his uh, skin thin, but uh, anyhow, when we moved down here, it was like overnight, no more asthma. More or less overnight, I couldn't believe it, they stopped using their nailers, they hadn't to go for any more 
of them uh, breath tests you know where they blow that tube out and the uh, doctor measures the uh, capacity of the lung or whatever they do all that stopped and that one when we moved down here so I do truly believe it was when we got away from all them fumes and traffic and they grew up down this area here they've had a real time you know just messing about in fields after school and woods I remember lad he got a raft one day and he went, <laughs> went, went I know it was a bit dangerous really but they were proficient swimmers and um, we didn't know about it but he made a raft out of uh, well he got a raft out of foam that white foam quite a big piece of foam and he went shooting down river he, he had god knows where he ended up but he had to walk all the way home but at the time of his life yeah so this is a bit of the area where I live oh there you can see uh, the house directly in front of us uh, we'll get a bit nearer I'll get a better shot of that but if you can see over that field there that is what that's the Burnley uh, where they built the big academy sort of building Burnley Football Club and the uh, this is where they train it's called Gawthorpe and over in the you know, that, this camera probably won't pick it up but over in the woodlo woodland over there is Gawthorpe or I don't know if you can pick it up now more or less centre shot now, you probably won't get it it's a bit too far but yeah that building, the, this first house here, the one with the grey windows and the white van outside uh, Sprocket and I were offered that many many years ago for 150 grand it's been split into two houses at the moment but yeah we could have had that 150 there ho, hindsight, wonderful thing the woodland itself is no more cycling or cycling or even horse riding through the woodland itself because it's so uh, well it isn't summer it's proper busy down here with walkers just people enjoying themselves yeah this is where kids have grown up around this woodland area here in the fields in the as I say in the river they went fishing they've had a real time uh, and that were Julie ma mainly moving from where we moved, you know, when I was telling about up Rosendale Road and all the traffic. Enjoyed living up there, the house itself was a fantastic house, proper old racky brick. Anybody who knows about Accrington Brick, there's a tale with that as well. That's a little uh, town, well it's not a little town, it's a big town, next to Burnley. He seemed an happy chappy, and if he were, so he needs to tell his face he's happy. Anyhow, yeah, Aki Brick. Uh, on the brick itself is uh, it's written Nora, and the story tells that the uh, moulds that the brick went into, somebody made the uh, moulds, and it, it had up in the in the brick in the mould iron. And that was the name of the brick, Iron, Iron Brick, and they are a damn good brick, Aki Brick. They were renowned for being as hard as iron. However, obviously, when they <laughs> when they tipped the brick out, it said Nora, because <laughs> whoever invented, whoever made the the, the moulds, hadn't realised that <laughs> it would spell it backwards as it was when the, when the brick itself had tipped out. So yeah, the brick, <laughs> I can't believe it myself, the brick itself was called Nora, so hence its name now, Nora Brick, but it, it's Aki Brick and it's supposed to mean iron, in fact there's a firm took it over a few years back and they started making the brick again, if it's as hard as the, the previous one they won't have a problem with them bricks, because honestly they are hard as iron. And anybody who's tried chasing any ch uh, electric work out in them, because we had to rewire the last house, and uh, believe me, the or the brick, they shut that path off there. It's um, the waterways that's doing it, and they're doing something with a, pl a flood plane, flood plain, because there was a large. Uh, in, uh, I don't know if anybody's heard main gas. They did gas fires and boilers and, and that was on that area there. It's been demolished and it's down for uh, housing. 
but it's very low to the river so it's something they're going to have to think about uh, when they build the house and I think they're doing something with the floodplain now but I believe there's a large area of that land being enough to burn the Borough Council as a wetland for wildlife which will be good here get a look here that. get a lot of um, what, uh, bird watch we're going to me and Sprocket nearly bought this house here this is two houses but when we looked at it, it was just the one house and uh, we thought about that as well well I uh, I'm going to knock it off here, uh, guys, and I'll come back in a minute with uh, a bit more. Hey, guys, uh, we're now back at home, back at the ranch, and just about a bit about the bike. This is what on this here. It's a compact, sophisticated, liquid cooled overhead cam, 250 cylinder, cylinder, four stroke power plant. Use a smooth and consistent torque at lower rate per minute, excellent hour rate per minute performance. It's got a 38mm throttle body which we upgraded in 2017, made bigger. Uh, revised airbox, reshaped air route, new muffler design, and large diameter red exhaust pipe to provide improved response and better power to the low to mid range. We've got fuel injection. It's got a gear driven counterbalancer shaft to help reduce vibration for the rider comfort. Electric start, lightweight aluminium crankcase, maintenance free CD ignition, heavy duty clutch offers smooth and progressive engagement, smooth shifting through the versatile 6 speed transmission gearbox. Heavy duty o ring, sealed chain for durability and reduced maintenance. The chassis itself was uh, specifically designed for the 250L and it provides excellent handling and agility. agility. It's got a lightweight semi double cradle, light tensile steel frame with tapered aluminium swing arm. Strong lightweight rims with straight pull spokes. It's got a 21 inch front and an 18 inch rear wheel with lightweight aluminium rims. Digital multifunction speedometer and a lockable toolbox. It's got a motocross style seat for comfort and allows uh, maximum rider movement. It's got durable, durable front and rear steel sprockets. The colour is red. If you want any other colour, it's red. However, you can send to Thailand for a full, full kit of plastic uh, colours, any colour you want, and they'll cost you just over 100 quid, so you can change the colour. The fuel capacity is 2.1 gal and it weighs two, 322 pounds, and it's got a multiple clutch, wet clutch. 43mm telescope inverted fork on the front and the ProLink system with rear shock on the back. It's a single piston hydraulic caliber to the front with a 256mm wavy disc. It's got ABS and single two piston caliber to the rear and that's a 220mm wavy disc. And if I'm honest I have some cracking fun on this bike which I hope to demonstrate through this summer. Uh, I do try to keep it in uh, excellent condition and as you can see the things that I've added are the back uh, plate to carry the bag, the heated clothing cable I you can see that, the heater clothing cable. The back itself was brand, I was brand new when I got it obviously. As I said, I've dropped it three times now. Twice while I've been riding. And once when I washed it on the drive. That's the USB cable charger. It's got 3,300 uh, power. Really good bit of kit that it will all face and charge through to the phone. Which as you can see that's a phone holder. Cost uh, about seven quid on e on eBay, the phone holder. I know it's not the right colour but it does the job. I put heated grips on and bark busters. When I dropped the uh, bike after washing it, well well whilst washing it, the only damage that happened to the bike, I don't know if you can pick that up, is a few scuffs here. And a few, and a, even a touch on the mirror, <laughs> not even with writing home about. 
and that's the only damage this bike has sustained through three drops. To be fair, one was on the grass, well, coming off road onto grass. Uh, another one was on concrete, going over Salter Fell at slow speed, and one was on the drive, as I say, washing the bike. So they do bounce really well. I'm proper happy with this bike. It gives me loads and loads of entertainment and value for money. Anybody's thinking about getting one, don't even hesitate. I've been barking all my life. I've been barking all my life and I've had some cracking fun on this. The tyres are knobbly as you can see. Um, they do give very little feedback when you're riding, but that does not, and I repeat, does not alter the fun. Seriously. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but as you can see, I've had some, you know, you do get some uh, good, very good lean angles. The, the strips are just about, the little rubber bits are just on, really on the edge if you look. But I'm just demonstrating, you know, it does, even though we knobblies, it does stick. It does stick like shit to the blanket on the road, you know, you won't, you, in summer, that is, that's in summer. When there's some heat in the road and some heat in the tyres. In winter, different kettle of fish. Especially on the wet roads. I went out a couple of weeks ago and the back end stepped out twice, but that was my own fault, not the bike. Nothing to do with the bike, that was my fault. But yeah, loving every minute of this bike. Uh, and hopefully I'll be taking you on some, uh, some trips this summer. So that's it for now, YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Adios for now. More fear rides again. Signing out.